It was a quiet night. Your cat girl man had just finished cleaning your dinner from the table. She went to the kitchen cleaning the plates at once. The only maid, yet it seemed like you had like five or six maids cleaning your house. It almost seemed like she lived for you, being at your beck and call. However, there were times you found her weird. The times where you'd look over your shoulder and she'd just be there staring at you. Brushing it off, you would always go back to your duties. As you were very busy, you didn't have time to take care of her. She proved to be able to take care of herself well. Finishing up your work, you closed your laptop and placed it next to you. Priscilla, your maid, came and took your laptop and placed it on your table in your work study. Your bed is ready, sir. Your cat girl called out to you from the bedroom as she finished fluffing the pillows. You didn't pay her to do this. In fact, you didn't pay her at all. Everything she did was due to pure infatuation. Or at least deep care. Even appreciation for you. Rushing over to your bed is your gentle cat girl working so hard you gently pat her on her hand. Thank you so much, sir. She smiled widely, enjoying every single moment of that head pat. You handed her a cookie from your drawer. They were her favorite. You only kept them hidden because of her deep admiration for them. However, despite knowing where they were, she stayed away out of respect for you. You admired the hard-working talent she had. She was a beautiful, gentle, and sweet girl at that. Is there anything else I can do for you today, sir? Uh, huh? You... You want me to... Stay here with you for a little? But... But... Uh, are you sure? I don't want to disturb you. Quickly, you shushed her. She was too kind for her own good. You asked her why she stayed with you. And why she took such good care of you. It was something you wondered for many years. Well, you see... You took me in when I was just a kitten. A small baby. Priscilla has great love for you, sir. I will always be here to take care of you just like you did Priscilla. You're amazing. And anyone who doesn't see that is awful. A terrible person at that. You chuckled and smiled, petting her head, followed by getting under your covers and sitting up against the headrest. Is everything comfortable enough for you? She once again fluffed the pillow underneath you as you leaned forward for her. When she backed up, you noticed her staring at you with every movement she made. This was strange. How could she not even look away once? But beck and call. There she was, not moving for a single moment, looking towards you, your Neko maid. You asked her if she was tired. It was followed by her soft yawn. You smiled and told her it was time to sleep. Uh, are you sure? I can stay here by your side and sleep with you if you'd like. She was so bold in asking, so forward. However, you declined her invitation to lay with you and told her that the room was comfortable, but she should be sleeping in her own comfortable room. She pouted. You ignored. She bowed. Yes, sir. I understand. You nodded, and she proceeded to turn off the lights as she headed out. Good night, sir. You responded good night, and she closed the door. You drifted off to sleep, knowing you were in good hands, which was an obedient maid. You've known since she was so little. Or so you thought. Shuffling around, you couldn't help but sit up, readjusting yourself. Upon opening your eyes, a figure stood before you. There, in the void of the night, vivid blue eyes glowing through the darkness stared straight at you. You were startled by the glare. But from it, you heard a soft voice begin. 
Hi, sir. Are you having trouble sleeping? Is there any way I could help you? You must be dreaming. This wasn't the girl you knew. Maybe it was, but her voice. That doesn't sound like her. Quickly, you asked who she was. Who am I? Do you not recognize me? Your kind, genetically modified cat girl? The one you've raised since birth? The one who is always by your side? Priscilla? Don't you remember me, sir? There was something off about her. That much was obvious. In your attempt to sit up, you feel her hand on your chest, firm with sharpness to her fingers. Her nails were not cunt and simple. They were sharp and almost felt extended like claws of a cat. You are a prisoner in this moment. The slightest move upward, and you'd surely get stabbed. I have always wanted to be this close to you. Your chest, it's so warm. You can feel her hand drag down, and normally that may have been a good thing. But the scrape of her claws just tearing over the surface of her clothing. Feeling the sharpness, the retin without piercing, was terrifying you to your core. You tried explaining, letting her know that you do know her. You do recognize her. And now it was time to go to bed. Bed? We are in bed, sir. And well, this time I want to lie with you. Right next to you. She pushed her hand onto your chest to gain leverage in order to get even closer. Doing so, let her claws pierce into your flesh. Not enough to cause any real harm, but surely enough to let you know how dangerous they were. Enough to draw blood. Enough to confirm your suspicions of the situation at hand. Why don't we go to bed together, sir? It's late after all, and I've always wanted to lay by your side. That is... that is what I'll do. By your side, Priscilla will be forever. Okay? Good night, sir. Good night.